Welcome to the Prospectors Radio Show, the talk show for our community. Please welcome Rich Cooley, Indiana Gold Hunter Dennis Dayton, Kathleen Biffle, and your host, Tim Grimes. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Prospector Radio. I want to start out by saying Happy Easter to everybody. Hope you had a great time hunting for Easter eggs and stuff. I'm sure some of us did. <laughs> but joining me tonight, I got the whole crew here. First off, we got Mr. Rich Cooley. How are you, Rich? Pretty good. How's everyone tonight? Doing good. Did you hunt for Easter eggs, Rich? No. I was uh, finished cleaning up a hog. Oh, <laughs> You were cleaning up a hog for Easter. Yeah, two of them. Yep. Two of Buddy them. Buddy of mine called and said he had he had two hogs that he needed cut up and gave me half of one, so I said sign me up. Oh heck yeah. You were down right. Just so I went and butchered them there Saturday yesterday and then mm-hmm. quartered them up and brought them home, got all the rib cages and everything and Everything's packed away. All I got to do is make sausage yet, and I hope to do that sometime this week. Did you Did you get your world famous bacon? No, nah, no, nah, I couldn't get any. <laughs> the <laughs> The hogs wasn't that big. Oh, okay, gotcha. And they you I said didn't they really got... have any thick bacon on there, so got it. And you said they got to be big for to get the bacon. Yeah, they got to have a good fat content on them. And these these were only youngins. They were probably one hundred and twenty five pounds, maybe so. Yeah. Okay, cool. But what else do you do for Easter? Anything exciting? Or that's no, nope. that's it. No, nope. just cut up, <laughs> cut up meat this morning. And I went to a birthday party yesterday, but other than that, nope. No chocolate no. Easter bunnies for Rich Cooley. No, nah, we don't even get any <laughs> Easter candy or no Easter baskets. Oh, no, nothing. no jelly beans. No, no, no marshmallow no. peeps. No. Nothing. No. No Husker no. Do's. Husker we, Do's. We don't do. We don't do Easter Bunny very much. <laughs> Dang, Rich. Well, that's a bummer. Somebody send Rich a chocolate bunny. He needs it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's I oh, see. I love chocolate. I love dark chocolate. But okay, everybody knows now. We, we just don't celebrate it. I guess uh, we celebrate Easter, but not for the Easter Bunny. Not for Easter Bunny jazz. Yeah, I, I know that feeling. Yeah. I had enough of it today. I'll tell you that much. Whew. It's rough. <laughs> awesome, Rich. Well, I'm glad you're here, brother. Anything else going All right. on? You got... Nope, I'm going to have Cooley's Corner tonight, and we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to do unrealistic expectations, oh, and that's... I'll leave it at that. I think that's me every time. <laughs> that'll be awesome, Rich. I think that'll strike up a good conversation here Yeah, the I hope crew. so. Oh, I think it will. I definitely do. Man, look forward to it, brother, and we will be getting to that very soon. And thank okay. you for being here, Rich, as always. Thanks very for having good. me. Oh, you're welcome. Also joining us, we got the lady with a cold, Miss Kathleen Biffle. How are you, Kathleen? Uh, getting over a cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a little better, but then I went to an Easter egg hunt that my sister holds every year. At the reservoir, mm-hmm. and it was just so windy. Oh, yeah. Down by the reservoir, it was probably yeah. even colder, wasn't it? It's really cold. Mm-hmm. Did you look for eggs? No, <laughs> I did not. Uh-oh, I hear the dogs. <laughs> we got to wait one second for Kathleen to shoot them. <laughs> there she <not>. is. <laughs> so you had a good Easter then, Kathleen? Yeah, it was good. Um Yesterday we had to go to Fort Wayne and back in a day. Oh, jeez! To go pick up my nephew, mm-hmm. and then uh, <laughs> so that was a whole day yesterday. And then today we just did the Easter thing and planted some trees and our our shrubs around the uh, koi pond. Oh, okay. So I was looking for um, a topiary <laughs> tree. Oh, okay. We ended up just getting some Japanese maples, so oh, it's going to well, look are, really pretty. Those are awesome, yeah. See, I thought maybe yesterday you might hit the creek for sure. It was no, a pretty day. I, I didn't have responsibilities, yes. I know, <laughs> I know. But it was pretty. It was a little windy yesterday but and had the chilly moments. And uh, Well, that and the cold, I mean, I'm not... Yeah, you're not up to 100%. Mm-hmm. That'd be a little rough on you, but I thought for sure. I said, Kathleen and Shad's got to be at the creek. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Maybe next weekend. No. Maybe, but Wait. it's looking for like freezing rain next week. Is it really? Yes. Oh, gosh. Well, 
thank goodness you go to Arizona to yes and get you some week. warms. I think maybe that'll get rid of that cold. I think so. It's going to be nice. I hear it's like 90 degrees and oh beautiful God. there and can't wait. <laughs> Are you guys getting any weather tonight? Uh, uh, it's just windy. It's just really... really. They're calling for two to four inches here late what? tonight, early tomorrow morning. Uh, That's why I figured you guys were getting it coming across, but Hang maybe on. it missed you guys. I'm checking, Rich, as we speak. Yeah, they're calling two to four tonight for us. Uh, oh, start a little like bit late said. after midnight. Till like eight in the morning. It's snow. showing snow, fifty percent chance from eight o'clock tonight, and then it gets to like seventy percent up till like one in the morning. Snow. Yeah, yeah. Like so that. you do have something coming through. Stupid, yep. stupid weather. And Tuesday it's going to be seventy-one. It's like really? yeah, of course it is. Because it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, right. It's Tuesday. That's when we always have the nice day. Tuesday. <laughs> it's never Saturday or Sunday. It's Monday through Friday. Oh, my God. I can't take it. Kathleen, enjoy that warmth. Gosh. I will. Bring it back with you, would you please? I, I have a feeling we're going to bring just the big rain cloud to Arizona. Oh, you think so? <laughs> and it'll rain the whole time you're there. That would just be so wrong. Probably. <laughs> I hope not. I want you guys to enjoy that heat and the sunshine. And Like I said, I think it'll make you feel a lot better. It'll Even though I'll be working, at least it'll... Yeah. It'll, like, well, yeah. It'll, you, you, when you get outside and stuff, you're going to just... Oh, yeah. You're going to feel great. When you get off the plane, you're going to feel great. I can walk from the hotel to the office, so it'll be nice. Oh, that's cool. That'll work really well for you. Now, have you talked to, like, Swiftwater or anything? Or We're going to try to get some of that barbecue. Oh, I had a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Let us yes. know. Let us know how that world-famous barbecue is that Scott raves on, you know? Oh. Mm-hmm. So we... I don't think he knows yet, but... Oh, we'll okay. Well, talk right. to him. I'm kind of surprised. Well, if he should be listening, but... If he's listening, where was he on Wednesday? I don't know. <laughs> Has anybody heard from Swiftwater? <laughs> barbecuing. He's barbecuing. No. He, he's barbecuing, I guess, right. It's, he's elbow deep in barbecue. <laughs> I don't no, know. I haven't heard anything. I, I heard, heard nothing. Since, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, that was last we heard from him when he showed up an hour late. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. That was. Well, I didn't even hear from him then because I wasn't here. So, yeah, it's been longer than that for me. Uh, we'll, we'll go dredge him up. <laughs> dredge him up, Kathleen. <laughs> if anybody can do it, you can. You'll find him. Well, Kathleen, thank you very much for being here. We hope you get to feeling better. I know. Yeah. She's taking oh. care. You can, you can hear it. You're all congested. Oh, you and, can hear it. Uh, yeah. uh, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> Chad, take care of her. Get her some he has. <laughs> more tea and ginger ale. Stat. She needs and it. Theraflu. <laughs> and Theraflu and NyQuil and Alka Seltzer Plus and a little bit of everything, right, Kathleen? Yes. Now, feel better. I'm glad you made it tonight. I know you don't feel well, but we are yeah, very happy thankful. Happy Easter, everybody. <clears throat> yes, happy Easter to you, Kathleen. Oh, I'll, um, Carrie and I will be on Ed's show on Tuesday. Tuesday on Ed and Jesse and Dano's Tuesday night hangouts over there on YouTube. Kathleen and Carrie, women of yeah, dredging. Come join us. Wow, that's going to be a good show. So all the Kathleen fans, be sure to tune in over there and uh, catch that. That'll be great. I'll be listening. I'm yeah. sure It'll we nice all will. Nice to talk to Carrie. And yeah. I haven't seen her all winter. Oh, you haven't? Well, no, we haven't been going prospecting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it'll be good then. You guys can catch up during the show, I guess. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to go out soon, I'm sure. And that's Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, right, Kathleen? Yes. All right, cool. So we'll remind everybody of that again later on, too. That way we catch the people that come in late tonight. So awesome. Look forward to that, Kathleen. And Me too. Thank you for being here. Also joining us, we got the other half of the Biffles, our producer, Mr. Shad Biffle. What's happening, Shad? Oh, not much. Trying to warm up now. I know. It's chilly. You'll you'll be all right. (laughs) At least you're not sick no more, right? For now. For now. I'm sure you'll be sick soon. (laughs) Probably. She won't leave me alone, so I know I'm going to get it. Excuse me. 
<laughs> say, stay away. Get back. You don't want to get that stuff. The yuck is what we'll call it. We're just going to call it the yuck tonight. Kathleen's got the yuck. <laughs> That's bad. So what's happening, Shad? Not a whole lot, to be honest. Um, you know, it's we we did started cleaning up some of the stuff we went out from last weekend and just did some sluicing oh, and whatnot. Like, that's but, right. Um, haven't finished that. It's it's such powdery gold. It, it looks like the stuff on the beach beach gold really? that Razor has. It did. It's wow. insane how small it is. But there's a lot of it? Yeah. There was uh, from our test pans. We were, I mean, we had a huge solid line, like a smile, I guess, if you yeah. want to describe it, in the pan from just test panning a few spots. Really? That was just skimming it off the top. Right. Yeah. With your, wow. Well, that's cool. Is that flood gold? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Dang, good job. But you started cleaning that and... You still got a ways to go then? Oh, yeah. It, it's Kathleen's going to water table the rest of it <laughs> yeah, now. Okay. You know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. And we know how she rolls. It's going to the water table. She'll get all yep. that fine stuff then. <clears throat> well, cool, man. That sounds like a, you guys did pretty good then. Yeah. Just for I mean, sluicing. Yeah, just for sluicing. Yeah, for just a couple hours. It was nice to get out then. And unfortunately, this weekend, we were just too busy to, you know, Skip, skip out and right. go a little bit, unfortunately, but such is life, right? True. Yeah, it seems, like like Kathleen said, it's only nice on the weekdays, so, or when you got something else that you have to do, and then it's nice <clears throat> when you can't be in the creek. I wonder if the creeks were pretty swollen, because we had a lot of rain here this week, remember? Yeah, they, uh, at least when we were driving around, uh, we noticed they were flowing mm -hmm. really pretty well mm -hmm. so maybe it's a good thing you didn't try to go because you might have got there and been really disappointed so yeah i guess we got to give it a little time to die mm. down a bit again again, again. we and got a lot of catching up to do you do you got a lot of catch up. <laughs> you're yeah. months behind kathleen months so did you hear any more in the stickers oh we couldn't <laughs> get them any day Oh, um, I had to call them and talk to them, and they said they mailed them out. And I'm like, no, I only got one sticker, not the eight missing ones. <laughs> so true. they were like, okay, well, we're, we'll ship it back out. And I'm like, oh, do you got my address still? So I had to give it to them again. <laughs> oh, jeez. So now we're just waiting. Mm -hmm. Just the wait. And they'll send you another bill, or they'll send them one more sticker. <laughs> yeah, we'll get them one at a time. <laughs> Every time you call, they send you one sticker. Just yep. one. Man. Well, hopefully you get them this week and you can get phase three done and that's it, right? For me, yeah. And, uh, well, Kathleen's will be pretty much done too then. Except for the expanded metal. Oh, yeah, yeah, which right. I'm in negotiations with someone about. Awesome. Good, good, good. That's great. So then you guys will be ready. Yes. Yeah, yeah. we'll officially be dressed. Right. They will be dressed dress to the max get that last picture of them and bingo good deal and I, I, i'm waiting for more people to start posting some things at least showing us they're working on it yeah like because, yeah. you know i guess they don't want some gold and dirt and stuff i guess you know, not for winning i guess not honestly you know <clears throat> oh, that'll man. make it easier for the ones that are already <laughs> posted yeah what do we have yep. like two i think the posted so far yeah <laughs> So your odds are odds are good. The odds yeah, are real good. Really good. <laughs> so if you want to add a little something to them to increase your odds, go for it because your odds are pretty good right now. You got a one in two chance of winning. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. Dang, I don't know. Let's get. Yeah, I want to see some progress pictures of anything. You know, and we went through the, our uh, bag of dirt that we got from the Roaring Camp. So we're going to put that gold in in the. Uh, Cons. Oh, are you? Ooh, yeah. Looky no. there, looky there. And then the gold Rich sent me, and then the gold I got. And, yep, Dennis, you were sending some too, weren't you? Dennis. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Never <Nice>. mind. <laughs> so it sounds like there may be a couple grams of gold oh, yeah. in that. That's what it sounds maybe like. Corn? I don't know. 
I don't know. I say. I want to even see any pitchers in there, unless I'm in the wrong spot. Yeah, I thought there was two. In the forum. I see Dennis's. <laughs> and I see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't see the ones I posted in there before, or the one pig, I think, was in there, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Piglet? Yeah. Yeah, they should still be in there. A man dressed my judge contest. They should still be there. You seen them, Shad? I'm checking right now. Okay. I was going to say, Rich has been having technical difficulties tonight. So. Yeah, I don't see any other pages below, so I don't know. Maybe it's me. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other pictures in there. I see some comments, mostly commit commenting about Dennis's uh, oh. pictures. <laughs> but I thought, wasn't there a piglet or something in there, too? Or was that, on Facebook? Was that there or on Facebook, Rich? Uh, that might have been on Facebook. I think it was on Facebook, which needs to be posted here to be eligible. Right, so there's <clears> nobody in there. So, wow, that really makes the odds. So we're not giving good. away anything, I guess. At this rate, we're not, yeah. So we get to keep our gold. Yeah, yeah. sweetness. Uh -oh. Cool, <laughs> people. We'll keep it. We don't mind. <laughs> don't hey, wait a minute now. Sounds like I'm winning right now after commenting on mine. But you can't win. <laughs> sure I can. If nobody enters, I can. <laughs> you know, my picture ain't even in there. Rich, post, Rich get your picture posted. Yeah, it was there. It I was in it there, was. but it ain't now. How in the heck did it just go away? No, it's I not can't in there. look right now. Dang it! I'll look later and see where the heck it went. It shouldn't have went nowhere. But yes, if because uh, mine was the first picture in there. Yeah. Yes, it was. Is there a second page? Nope. That's what I'm looking for. I don't see a second page. Hmm. I can't look. Oh well. I'll look. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But, yeah, get them pictures posted if you want to win some gold. Easy peasy gold. That's well, on sure. other good news, though. What you got? Um, for anybody that is a patron, um, we just got a, a sponsor uh, behind it to do a quarterly nugget giveaway for patrons. <laughs> cool. Some? That is cool. Uh, it's uh, the Tommy Knockers Pay Dirt. Yeah, and Tommy cool. Knockers got I some... Think I saw Gary Bass mm -hmm. in the chat room tonight. Yeah, and Tommy Knockers. Uh, well, that's pretty awesome. Make sure we all say thank you to him. He's Heck, you know, yeah. helped support the show by offering that, and that's uh, outstanding. And Tommy Knockers got some great pay dirt, too. I get, hear rave reviews. They always do stuff on Facebook, and I've never seen nothing negative about them. And they go, gave us some samples that we gave away during the year that we got from them when we was in Vegas, remember? And, yep. Uh, and we gave them away during the year. So, very cool. We really appreciate Tommy Knockers coming on board and sponsoring the quarterly nugget giveaway for our patrons now. So, we're going to have a crony club quarterly nugget giveaway and a patron quarterly nugget giveaway. So, very cool. Thank you to Gary Bast and Tommy Knockers Pay Dirt. So, be sure and check them out over there for sure. Awesome. Very cool. And Shad even made a cool little banner and put it up there on the site today. So, Pretty neat. Thanks, hey, Shad. That's awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. Now, I think you probably got them precious metal prices too, don't you? I do. I do. Let's hear how uh, that's going this week. Well, it's, you know, gold's down a dollar. Uh, it's at 1326 One bean. Yep. Uh, silver, uh, the only positive, went up six cents to $16.30. There we go. And then uh, platinum's down seven dollars to nine hundred and thirty-two. Okay. Palladium dropped sixteen dollars to nine hundred and forty-nine. Oh, okay. Dang. Let's see what happens Wednesday. Silver's on the on the rise. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna make it to seventeen, Shad. I see it coming. Now yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Now it's it's Shad's favorite time of the show when. Here we Happy go. birthday <laughs> to you. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I couldn't stand it, Kathleen. <laughs> 
All right. I understand if you want to remove your birthdays on your profile, or if you like it, change your birthday every week. Twice a week, actually. So today's birthdays, we have Bob Cameron, Chris Byrne, Chris Melendrez, Dale William Wyant, Don Gill, E. E. Crider, or E. C. Ryder, Gary Pakalewski, George Ballantyne, Gerald Benson, Goldfinger, Greg Watts, Guy, John Foster, Larry Mitchell, and Nomi Hoffman. So if the list ended before it got to yours, I'm sorry, but happy birthday. <laughs> Dennis will sing to you privately. <laughs> hey, personal. Happy birthday, everybody. And good job, Dennis. Man. I like hey, Shad. That. Yes. Um, what was it? Bob just uh, found the other one. There's actually two of them in there. Can you combine those? I'll take a look at it. Yep. There's two banners in there, I guess. Uh, one was from January something, and the other one that's over. I found it over on the top comment, Dressed by Judge Contest. Is the one I used. That one doesn't have my pictures in, but I don't know where Bob found the other one. So. Well, make sure everybody, I will look and move them over. I, I think they just commented and posted pictures on the original banner that we had. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. If you want to go to the forums and look for it, it's a featured forum at the top uh, for Dress My Dredge Contest and post your pictures there. Uh, cool. But I'll combine them. Awesome. Okay. Very Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Shan. And thank you for being here, brother, as always. And also joining us, first off, let's everybody tell Dennis and Paula, happy anniversary, you guys. Happy Ooh, anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. So everybody in the chat room, tell Dennis happy anniversary. And joining us now, our little buddy, the Indiana Gold Hunter himself, Dennis Dayton. How are you, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> well, besides uh, an, the 23 years we've been married on our anniversary, it's been good. Sweet. Yeah. Yep. Very yep. Cool. I don't know how she's put up with me for that long, but we I, I found the prize winner, so I can't complain. That's right. So did you get like an anniversary <laughs> Easter basket? Yeah. I uh, I got her some things. See, yours, this was weird. Yours is, you had Easter, April Fool's Day, and your anniversary all in one day. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That was oh, like yeah. a threefer. Dang, good job. Threefer. A threefer. That didn't sound too good. I know, but it was a threefer. <laughs> it wasn't a twofer. It was a threefer. <laughs> threefer. <laughs> but uh, sorry to everyone that, you know, I'm just going to let everybody know. I mean, I, I couldn't make last week Wednesday show. I've been having... Of course, the guys here on the show know I've been having a lot of headaches, and it's actually started last year, and I just started getting a lot of headaches, and, you know, I just thought, well, I'm just getting old. Well, then all of a sudden, I started feeling weird, and I ended up going to the doctor, and they ended up putting me on high uh, blood pressure medicine. I got high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So then they took the they took the blood work, and then, then come to find out that I'm diabetic, and also they took some blood out of this. I've got a tumor, so they're trying to figure out if it's cancerous or benign, Jeez. whatever benign is. Not cancerous. So, but uh, anyway, April Fool's on that one. Oh, you ask. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have high blood pressure, though. They did put me on the yes, medicine. I just yes, had to throw you, in the other. Yes, you do have high blood pressure. <laughs> but the other stuff. But, uh, no, I, I really do. I, I have high blood pressure, mm -hmm. and it just... I've been having it. What's funny is when I take this list back to my doctor, I, I got to take my blood pressure like twice a day. Right. And it's, I haven't had to take my blood pressure medicine this weekend at all. It's been almost normal since I haven't been at work. Yeah, well, true. So, well, that could make your blood pressure go up. Or it, it's, yeah, it's stress. so, I mean, it's been like way above normal. It's stress. <clears throat> so don't you still take the medicine every day, even though your blood pressure is normal? Well, I, I before I go to bed, I check my blood pressure, and, and it was, hang on a second, it was, uh, let's see, last night it was, or Friday night, it was 111 over 73, mm -hmm. so I didn't need to drop that any lower by taking blood pressure, and then it was, last night was 131 over 80, Okay. so 
but the times it's been high, it's been like I had a 157 over 94. Right. Uh, 140 over 92. It's, you know, 155 over 94. It's been high yeah. during the week. Yeah. And that's probably just, it has to do with my work, I guess. Sure. I don't know. Just stress related. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That'll do it. You got to watch yourself. De-stressify, you know, Om, you know, sh- yoga, stuff like that. You know, yoga. I think what I should do is I should, like, just quit my job and go prospect. Right, I there, think there that would go. really take well, care of the blood pressure. It. I bet it would lower your blood pressure. Oh, tremendously. I bet it would, because you're, you're not stressed out. No, not at all. You know? I could probably actually lose some weight. I bet you Kathleen, a couple weeks ago, should have checked hers when she was all stressed from not getting in the creek. And then when she gets in the creek, she needs to check it and see what happens. I bet you that happens to her a lot, too. It happens a lot, see? yes. I bet it does. You guys are just too high strong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Work uh, does it. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, when you got perfection out there, and Kathleen agrees with this, right, Kathleen? When you got perfection out there, when you got perfection out there, you know, it, those idiots at the very top of the totem pole, they stress you out because they don't know what they're doing. Right. I got you. I'm with you. So, I'll just keep... But I, I, had some, I had some good things. The water's been, I kind of did like a Facebook Live and was, signal was that Rich was on there. Of course, I didn't want to show him the water. That I was running. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I was, trying, I was trying to show the, the, I can literally, I can walk out the end of my drive, uh, anyone that's been here, and throw a rock and actually hit the river. Mm-hmm. That and was funny. Just, Every time he took two steps, it started fading out on him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to back it, up. Yeah. I was laughing. He moved forward, off. moved back. I seen it after. Oh, yeah, I was walking real slow. I'm like, here I go. I'm moving real slow, guys. If it, <laughs> I said, if it cuts out, hang on. I'll back up. So I that kept having funny. But um, I I run the, the Coolio cleanup sluice with the Dream Mat and was running my pit cons, and then... I started running, I ran three buckets of my pit cons, mm-hmm. and I got almost six grams of gold. Man. That was, well, that was good yeah, that's, take. A, that's another April Fool's joke there. Oh, stop and, it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to kill you tonight. <laughs> 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 oh, no, but I, I, did, I did get some good gold. I, I did, you know, I did do video, and I've got my, man, I, I'm so pumped. I didn't do anything today because it was like, you know what? Today's anniversary. It's Easter. It's I'm not. I was gonna go out and run my Gold Hog Mini with, and and I've got my Dream Mat in it. Right. I think it's like a glove. I was just like a kid in a candy store. Oh jeez. Oh yeah. I'm like yeah, man. This thing's ready to rock. You're ready. But I, I I'll probably I get off at four o'clock. I don't have to work twelves this week, so it's supposed to be nice. So I, it's out there. It's set up, ready to go. No. And now, what was that picture I seen you posted on uh, Facebook? It showed all these snuffer bottles and stuff. What the, what was all that about? Uh, Rich, close your ears. Um, <laughs> I, uh, last I don't know year where you I, got them at either. Yeah, that was that was part of my, you know, when I ran all those buckets, I had like over 40 buckets I was running, mm-hmm. and I did some video on it, and there was some of the buckets had some really good gold, and it drove me crazy <laughs> because I didn't mark down where they were from well right. <laughs> in the meantime while i was running those you know buckets that i had mm-hmm. i always took an empty snuffer bottle with me and, and when i would do test pans i would always snuffer up some of the gold gotcha. you know and then i'd run a while and then i'd do a test pan and snuffer up some of the gold well i had nine snuffer bottles wow and Jeez. yeah when i started dumping them out in the pan i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my ah so <laughs> yeah it's uh you know, that goes with, uh, you know, what Rich has always said and always harped on me is, you know, you got to always label your stuff and where you're going. Every time you run a bucket, carry a marker with you and write it on that bucket. He said, if you ruin a bucket, who cares? It's a $3 bucket. Yeah, true. You can always buy yeah. another one. Mark yeah. on so there where you're at. old coffee, like the old coffee blue jugs, you know, like Maxwell House yeah. and Folgers and all yeah. them. Yeah. I have them in my garage, like materials that I run. Mm-hmm. And I saved the black sands or whatever. You know, I usually mark on them, so I have everything labeled. And I know exactly where they came Smart from. Smart move. Yeah. Hey, Dennis, those snuffers, are they like kind of like a semi-clear plastic with dirty water <laughs> in them with the gold? Because I think those were mine. <laughs> <laughs> no. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I was actually, because, you know, it was it was like, like yesterday. It kind of rained a little bit. 
So I was just kind of going through some of my, you know, went over to my my man cave mm-hmm. where I keep all my gold equipment now, and I'm just pilfering through stuff, and, you know, I'm just like, well, okay, I'll start getting stuff ready, and all of a sudden, boom, there's a bottle. Boom, there's a bottle. Boom, boom there's a bottle. And I'm not thinking, you know, I'm still going through stuff, and before you know it, when I, I finally got it all, I was like, oh, my God, there's nine bottles here. And I would hold it up to my ear, and I'd shake it, and I would, I, you could hear the gold, you know, you know, rattling. Yeah. And, yeah, when I brought them over and dumped them out, oh, man, there was some good gold in it. Well, yeah, nine snuffer bottles. I would think you would have quite a bit in them. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> good job, Dan. That's awesome. You, you know, any idea how much you got out of them? Uh, yeah, I, I know the weight on it. All right, cool. Good deal. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I think I'm just going to take that gold mm-hmm. and, uh, Hmm. hmm. You know what? I hmm. might just use that gold for the dress up my dredge. Oh, ooh, ooh, mercy! Well, oh, I throw that into the stuff. What we got? Very and cool. the, and and if you've seen the picture of the cons that I ran mm-hmm. on the dream mat, I know there's a lot of gold in that. I just dumped it back in the pan. So Man. I think I might throw that gold in with the cons. That's cool. Man. And there's a lot of crap and gold in there, guys. Jeez, that is awesome. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you want to look at that picture, you'll see. I weighed it. I know how much gold, the actual part that I weighed. Mm -hmm. And then you add that to the cons that I had after I ran what I did. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of... Spiffy. That is cool, Dennis. A lot of freaking gold in it. Very nice. Yeah, I've seen all them snuffer balls. I'm like, what? Dennis forgets he has snuffer bottles. <laughs> well, you do, I do. You know, I mean, I get it, come home and usually I'm rushing in to get, make sure I'm on the show. Mm-hmm. And it sits it it sits out my trailer. And you know, when I get ready to go out again, I'll I'll grab you know whatever. So right. I just grab another bottle. Just grab you know, I try bottle. to grab an empty one and I grab a couple empty buckets and you know away I go. Yeah. And I come back and I throw it in. You know, just whoop, there it goes. And you just you know out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, and then you next thing you know, you got another one. <laughs> well, because that's yeah, that all that in them suffer bottles, that's all my sample gold. Right, right. You know? That's, sure. I got gotcha. you. Man, then that's cool though. That's like pff, a bonus. You forget you have it and then you find it. And it's like, oh look, oh, I, it, prom- I promise you this much. There is over a gram of gold. Oh, I I'm bet. not gonna tell you how much, but I guarantee you there's over a gram oh, of gold. I bet nine snuffer bottles like that sampling, I guarantee you. <laughs> with that and what I have in the in the cons, mm-hmm. it's loaded. It's loaded. Well, you see, and I tell you, you can tell um, there is that pit gold. Mm-hmm. Chad, Kathleen, remember that stuff you was panning? It would like float everywhere. Yeah, there is a boatload of that in them cons too. Man, <laughs> I mean, you don't be dumping that water out. Make sure you got that gold drop because there is a boatload of that talcum powder stuff. <laughs> <laughs> talcum powder gold. Pretty cool. Well, way to go, yep. man. That's awesome, buddy. I'm happy for you. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool, my friend. Yeah. Man, very yep. nice. Yep. Well, it sounds like you had a great weekend, then. I did. I did. Good. I'm just, I'm just looking forward. I'm just actually looking forward to this coming weekend. This this coming weekend, I actually head to Tennessee. Oh, okay. And I'm going, yeah, I'm going down to that, uh, oh, what's that place? Uh, what? What? Yeah. Uh, Coker Creek. Coker Creek. Yeah, and then I'll probably swing up to the Chris and Gold Mine. Okay. Or Chris Om Gold Mine Chris and, Om. and pick up a load of stuff from there. Oh, cool. Well, no, that's fun. an April Fool's one, too. How oh, you stop it? <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> that's like five you've done got me with tonight. <laughs> yes, I'm counting them. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting. It's April Fool's Day. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Appreciate it, but buddy. I did. I did find. I did find when I was going through my trailers. I did find all my baby masks, the ones that I had them drawn there. I was like, "Oh yeah, there's Shad, there's Jim, <laughs> there's you there's a uh, uh, Swiftwater." <laughs> you got to hang them up in there. That could be your decorations. <laughs> <laughs> the baby masks, perfect decoration for a man cave, Dennis. Right? Oh yeah. Oh, it is because oh, yeah. they probably won't even sell them things again this year. Oh, I bet they do. They sold they out do. of them everywhere. Every dollar store I'd go to, they were, and then things sold out. They sell out like hotcakes, huh? Oh yeah. Jeez, 
Jeez, old man. Well, hang on to them. They'll still... <laughs> oh, I'm not getting rid of those. I'm I just hope they have different faces this year. Oh, maybe. Maybe you can get a Rich Cooley and a... <laughs> <laughs> Who else do you need? Hmm. Oh, you you got to have one with glasses. Yep. <laughs> yep, there you go. Oh, and I don't think you get a Kathleen either, so... Yeah. I gotta try to find. I gotta try to find an Ed Marvin and, oh, and, and an Ed, Ed Jesse. Mar- I want an Ed Marvin, and then I want to get a uh, uh, Caleb Bennington. Oh yeah, and then you got to get El Swanko, and you know, oh yeah, mm-hmm. you got to get them all. Definitely, <laughs> Corey Hagerman. I definitely got to get a Corey mask. There's mm-hmm. no doubt about that. Okay. He's really easy because he's bald anyway. So, oh, yeah, that's easy then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very cool, brother. I'm glad you made it. We missed you Wednesday, and we're glad you're yep. here tonight, my friend. I'm glad I'm here, too. Oh, yeah. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back with Rich Cooley and Cooley's Corner. We'll be right back, everybody. Do you like to mine for gold, enjoy prospecting a nice crack in the bedrock, enjoy getting outdoors to camp, fish, hunt, and hike on your public lands? You plan your trip, load the gear, grab the dog, put the family in the truck, and drive off to a locked gate. A sign says you cannot enter or access your own public lands. Mining claims and public land owned by we the people are being designated as off limits by our own government every single day. Are you concerned about the direction our government is going? Are you tired of seeing no access, no entry signs on your lands? We are, and we are fighting back. We are AMRA, America Mining Rights Association, the fastest growing small mining advocacy association in America. AMRA is a 501c3 not-for-profit formed by miners, hunters, off-roaders, retired military men, and women to stop the insanity. AMRA was formed to educate, unite, and help the small miners and public land users on their rights. Rights given to us by God. Do you want access to great mining claims? For a small tax-deductible donation to their Miners Legal Fund, your family gains access to proven excellent mining claims across America for an entire year. AMRA challenges the USFS, BLM, EPA, and the other agencies intent upon stopping you from enjoying your own lands. You are who pays these people's wages. It is time they listen to us. We need to unite. And that is what AMRA is doing. As you sit here right now, thousands of acres of public lands are being closed, locked, and blocked from use by you. Are you fed up yet? Join us. Get in on this fight and let's restore America to what our families fought and died for. Freedom. Just visit AmericanMiningRights.com. AmericanMiningRights.com. Also, check us out on Facebook at American Mining Rights Association. AmericanMiningRights.com. Just stop by on my way home to show you all my gold. You've been digging into some Jimbo's gold pay dirt. Yeah, Jimbo's gold made me a hero. Huh? Got an amazing idea and supplies on sale from Jimbo's website. With bad weather, bored kids, and stressed wife, I threw a panning party for the kids and their friends. All the moms got a break. Kids had a blast. Hero. Happy kids, happy wife, great gold. That's why Jimbo's gold is always my first choice. Did you teach panning or share your prospecting knowledge? Then you are our hero. Tell us your story for a chance to receive a hero's reward at www.jimbosgold.com slash hero. Welcome to Cooley's Corner. Join Rich Cooley as he talks about equipment, new products, and so much more for all us prospectors and treasure hunters. Here's Rich. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Cooley's Corner. Uh, Tonight, we're going to talk a little bit about unrealistic expectations. Which I get a lot. Uh, every time, you know, you talk to somebody about prospecting, of course, being host, co-host on a radio show and all that, like to talk about prospecting, uh, kind of did at the birthday party yesterday and people was asking all kinds of questions. And the first thing they automatically think is, you know, you're rich. Because they watch everything on TV with all the gold shows and people getting 100 ounces, 1,000 ounces, And I guess they just think that, you know, the regular ordinary person like us that goes out and prospects six, seven times a year 
and pull out, you know, tons of tons of gold. Well, that doesn't happen very well. So I wrote a little article here about it, and we're going to talk about it. So let me get started. All right. Wouldn't it be nice to come away with a handful of gold nuggets each and every time you went on panning for gold? For some reason, a lot of newcomers to the hobby are under the assumption that gold panning is some get-rich-quick method that can turn you into a millionaire overnight. Now, don't get me wrong. There have certainly been cases when average Joes found huge nuggets worth tens of thousands of dollars when panning for gold, but those instances are very and far few between. Even if you experience a panning in the right location, you're probably still only going to come away with the minimal amount of gold. But don't let that stop you from enjoying this hobby. With the price of gold at all-time high and expected to raise, even small amounts of gold can add up to a nice side income. The bottom line is that you shouldn't make unrealistic expectations when you're panning for gold. If you follow the gold panning techniques that you learn and choose a proper location, then you'll probably come away with some gold in your pocket. However, it's doubtful you'll be quitting your day job based on a day's worth of gold nuggets and plates found in a stream. Keep your expectations realistic and only pan for gold if you truly enjoy being outdoors when there's beautiful scenery and warm sunshine. Mm-hmm. So with the crew, what do you guys think? <laughs> Go ahead. <guys>. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I've, I've had a lot of people. I mean, the, even especially the ones I work with, you know, they think since I go out and prospect and like you said, you know, being a co-host on a show that I'm striking it rich. And then, the, you know, of course, then I always get that question. Well, how much did you spend on your equipment? How much is how much have you made back on it? You know, why would you? You know, it, it's just those questions, you know, you're spending. Mm-hmm. So you're spending that much money on equipment and you're only getting this much gold and. Yeah, why do you but do I, it? You know, <laughs> I, I, I do the same reference to them. I've got a lot of fishermen up there. I said, whoa, whoa wait a minute. <laughs> uh, you can go to the store and buy fish. I said, how much did your bass boat cost? How much did your rods and reels cost? How much is tackle? Good and point. he comes golf. to find out. They, they spend out, or yeah, golf. They spend a lot more money on fishing equipment, bass boats, than I do on my dredge stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least we get something in return. Yeah. yeah. In our hobby. You know what yep. I mean? It might not be much, but at least we get a return. Something of yep. value, yeah. You that, know. that could be worth a lot lot more, right, each day. Right. Yeah. Like playing the lottery, mm-hmm. you know. When yeah, you get exactly. the mother load, you might not. And that's what's sad, too, though. A lot of people that, that might listen to the show or read a magazine and think, well, I, I just go buy this gold pan. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to strike it rich. And it's like, boy, if it only worked like that. You know, oh, yeah. the, mm-hmm. the, you know you need to do research and testing and just have good areas to go to it it just it's not that easy if it was that easy everybody would be doing it it's so yeah hard. it's just like a couple of buddies of mine you know talk about them well you know i found a gram at this place before well you know and then they try to do the percentage game <laughs> okay you know if you spend three days here or if you spend 25 days here this is what you're gonna get mm-hmm. no it don't work that way no it don't <laughs> you know and besides that it's something that we enjoy doing it's relaxing and yeah you know it, so it's it's a good reward yeah maybe it, it, you're not getting a gram an hour or whatever you make like pennies on a dollar which you compare to at your job but it's relaxing right and it comes with a good reward very stress relieving we know that uh, oh God, yes. The people you hang out with are are just awesome. It's oh yeah. It's not about what you find. It never is. So I you catch, but you catch a lot of grief over it because it's like, well, you spent more than that in gas. Well, yeah, I probably did than what I found, but <clears throat> I had a and great- you got exercise. Sure. You know, you you can spend that much on a gym membership. God, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But look at the fun. Yeah, exactly. But look at the fun we have, the memories we create each time we go out. It's like, you know, it's yeah. it's well worth it to us. And The stories. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, the stories are great. But yeah, the camaraderie and everybody yeah. that you meet, you know. And it's... there is that chance one of us might someday reach down and pull out a nugget. Well, the size look of at Ed that time. Yeah. You know, how, many, how many of us was there? Was there yep. like eight or ten of us? Yeah, there was a bunch of you guys. 
Mm-hmm. There was like eight or ten of us there, I'm thinking. And one person just happened to find a nice nugget. A corn flake. You know? or... uh, no, usually it's Kathleen or corn Carrie. Flake. Right. Yeah. But, you know, Kathleen and Carrie, man, every time we go out, man, and one of them is always reeling into big kahuna. You just you never know? know, though, right? I mean, you it could just, it could be in that next spot you look in. It could just be a pocket full of nuggets. You just don't know. And that's that's yeah. the thrill of it. It's got a thrilling factor that, because mm-hmm. uh, you just don't know. Either it's going to be a good day or it's going to be a bad day when it comes to. Yeah, you know, like somebody like things. Razor that does do it. For well, I don't know if he does it for a living. I mean, right. I know he has another job, mm-hmm. but he also gets a good bit of gold when he sure. goes out. Oh heck, yeah. you know. So maybe it might be worth him, you know, mm-hmm. in, in some areas that he does because he does, you know, melt his old gold, his own gold down, and, right? And all Actually, that. Actually, you know? I think he, I think he goes out, Rich, just to wash that beard because that thing's like really long, <laughs> saves a lot of money and water. So could be. <laughs> So yeah, the expectations are definitely high in the game of prospecting for sure. You know it. Uh, mm. We've you know what that was. I'm but, sorry. <laughs> go, Kathleen. Yeah, go ahead. My uh, expectation, I think, when when I started this was I didn't understand cleaning gold mm-hmm. in that that black sand. So I just thought when you would pan gold it'd just be gold and you could just pick it right out and mm-hmm. that black sand that surprised me <laughs> <laughs> yeah how much of a nuisance it was right. mm-hmm. that it's not especially when you're dealing with pyrite and all the other yeah. different types of material that mix together mm-hmm. that's why we say classification classification is the key to all prospecting because it separates it sure yeah but you that know, means you Arizona, you won't have to worry about that. You just be able to pick up nuggets out of that black sand in Arizona. Mm-hmm. See, it's different, but it's it's weird. The expectations that that come along with the game, I guess. When you no, you, you always think just a half hour more, just a yeah. half hour more. You yeah, know? yeah. And, then, and then before long, it's like Carrie and Kathleen. You know, it's getting dark, and yeah. we're waiting for them for supper, and they're still in the freaking creek. Yeah, you got to drag them out. Uh, it's them. like, come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> Because they're just twenty more minutes. Yep, they're they're just wanting that you know, a foot deeper. You know that's yeah. where it is. That's where it is. You know it's just right. It's well. The other thing of it is is and I realized this until I thought about it. You know we do without even knowing it. We almost do like a competition. You know I talked to yeah Kathleen about this before. You know sometimes you just have a competition with somebody you know that you're close with. Mm-hmm. You know, and they find something that's like, I got to do oh, better, yeah. you know, so it's oh. like a competition thing. Oh, you know? definitely. Even if it's not intentional, it's there. Right. It's in, it's right. It's in the back of your mind. Yeah. Yeah. You hey, know. you never have to worry about bringing an alarm clock when you go with the pimples because, man, like five, six o'clock in the morning, you hear this Chad and Kathleen, boom, equipment firing oh, up. Oh, they're ready. <laughs> <laughs> In so the creek, that's yeah. Just coffee pot. That's the coffee oh, pot. Uh, it's the coffee <laughs> pot's the first thing. The generator. And I'm usually one pot. over there making sure that it's freaking working. I, I guess the <laughs> expectations are like that in a lot of treasure hunting, though. You know, you right. you're gonna go out and look one more day and see if you can't find that treasure, and mm-hmm. and it, it's just over that next hill, you know, or mm-hmm. behind that next. I got a tree. question for y'all. Mm-hmm. Uh, read something here. Keeping gold you find in streams and rivers, are there laws to not keep your gold? And if so, what states? Ooh. I'm not talking about the states that it's illegal to prospect in, just the states that you are allowed to prospect in. Is there a law, basically is what I'm asking, is there a law that says you cannot keep the gold that you find? There is. Does anybody couple. know of? There is a couple, but I'm not 100% positive on the states. So I won't say it. But is that in a place that you're not allowed to prospect? No, you're allowed. In prospect. No, you are allowed, but you are. So Washington, not. I think, is one, I, isn't it? I, I I don't know if it was Washington. I heard that from Ed before, but I, I wasn't 100 percent sure if that was true. I thought it was like New York or something weird like that. And New York, you still have to turn it in. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent positive, so don't hold I think me to that. It depends on where right. you're. Right. Right. But that's why I'm asking the chat room. Mm-hmm. So. 
But he says not in Washington. Not so, in Washington, okay. So New York seems to be the only one. You can keep your gold in Washington. Yeah, okay. I've, I've heard of it, definitely. You can process it. New York's the only one so far. But you're supposed to turn it in. It's like, really? Yeah. I'm not going to go work my butt off and then turn it in. That's not happening. Now somebody says they believe New York, you can keep it. So. Oh, okay. See, so it might not have been. But there is, I've heard of that. Definitely. Dang, I wish I knew. Exactly. Well, that was a question somebody wanted me to find out. And, of course, I went online to try to find out and nothing. Because somebody talked about it one time. And I, can't, I can't remember who it was, but somebody mentioned it. It might. It could have been a caller even that said, you know, yeah, we're allowed to prospect here, but we're not allowed to keep it. We're supposed to turn it in. And it was like, mm-hmm. really? Yeah. How does that I wouldn't work? Turn it in. Yeah, it was like, how's that work? They're like, it don't because they don't turn it. Yeah, in I tried either. to look it up online and I did. I couldn't find any information about it uh, hmm. about any state. So. Very interesting. And you can bet That's you, I, I kind of threw it in the chat room there to see. Yeah, I, I don't care where I'm at. You bet you, if I if I spend my time looking for it, the hard work it takes, and I find it, I'm not turning it into nobody. No, it's it's. I'll tell them I didn't find nothing. Exactly. No, nope, found nothing. Not a speck. Just a bunch of rocks. That's all. <laughs> Had a good day cleaning rocks. That's all I'm doing here. Right? No yep. gold. None. <laughs> I just. Think- and the other thing of it is, is uh, what do you do with your gold? This is uh, this is to anybody in the chat room or any of the co-hosts here or hosts. What do you do with your gold? We'll start with that one first. Well, I'm giving some of mine away to dress up your dredge. Yeah. Um, what do you usually do with the other? Do you ever sell any? Uh, I sell some of mine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I, I sell it or sometimes I'll, I, there's a couple sites I belong to. I might raffle it off or auction it off, whatever you call it. Or, mm-hmm. you know, it's, uh, yeah, they, they pretty much get their money's worth when I, when I sell mine now. Oh, nice. Okay. Good. Tim? I have sold some of mine and then kind of just hang on to it. What's that? You hoard it? Try to. (laughs) (laughs) I hear you. Razor Razor said he plays with it. Anyway, go ahead. Kathleen and Chad, I know you guys sell some of it. We sell some of it. We keep it. And then, you know, we store it at the New York Fed. Oh, yeah, that's right. That, that, (laughs) That place. I forgot about that place. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we're we're trying to get one of those secret high tech vaults, but um, <laughs> yeah, so far they keep rejecting our application because oh, we only have a you know a grammar to it, but whatever. <laughs> Me, my goal when I first started this whole thing, and I haven't reached my goal yet. Okay, my go. goal was to find one ounce of gold, which I actually have to find one one ounce more. And melt it down to a gold bar. So it'd be one troy ounce of gold, basically. Okay. More than that. Okay. And melt it down into one of those, like, Hershey Kiss gold bars, you know, the little chunkies? Sure. Mm-hmm. I want one of those little chunky bars. Well, that's cool. Gold. That was my goal when I started. I'm probably not even close to that yet because I don't really weigh my gold. But right. You ought to be I'll have, I'll have to check. I'll have to check the weight and see. How close I am because it's thirty one point one grams. Yeah, in one troy ounce. So you're probably going to need, you know, yeah. more than that. Probably. I've seen some of your cleanouts, Rich. You, you, you ought to be pretty I bet you're close. Yeah, you have close. to be close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if not I'll over. Check. Nah, that's not awesome over. I would think you're. And, right and there. that's the other thing people do do not realize how much it actually takes. Yeah. <laughs> to get an ounce, mm-hmm. you know, I mean that people do not realize. You know, when you're looking at a pan on a computer and people zoomed in, and you're like, "Man, that's a lot of gold." Yeah. Well, that might not even be a gram. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know what I mean? It's deceiving. It, it, yeah. It, yeah. I mean, it takes a lot of gold for one ounce. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got to have some chunkers in there too. You just. Oh yeah. But you know, Ray's Ray's he does a lot of fine gold and. He gets an ounce, you know, but that's that's a lot of fine gold. So. Yeah, well, Rich, to, to keep from weighing it, you know, them little vault things that you uh, got them four vials in. Yeah, fill one of them have full. One. Fill if one you up. Got one of them filled up full. That you should have definitely have an ounce. You have your ounce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good. Good point. I have mine actually spread out. That's another thing I want to talk about. Okay. Does anyone separate their gold 
to places that they go. I used to when I first started out. Like I had my PA gold separate, I had my Ohio gold separate, and then I had my Indiana gold separate, and then I had my Arizona gold separate, and then I just finally said, heck with it, threw everything on one. I used to sing. I used to do the same. Because I had everything so many spread out, and you had 20 vials and a little bit in each one. Right. Yeah, I, keep, I, I keep my big pieces in one vial, and then my smaller one, you know, my fine gold in another right. vial. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I used to do, too. But I've known other people that had, like, they got gold that they prospected and found, mm-hmm. kept that in different vials, and then they they bought pay dirt or they won bags of pay dirt, mm-hmm. and they kept that separately also. Okay. So I was just wondering how everybody else did. I think some some do, right? I don't. i have kind of like Dennis. Kept big ones in one, small ones in another, and then I just yep. dumped them all together. <laughs> <laughs> we used to separate it too, but what we do keep separate is what, like pay dirt from mm-hmm. what we find, because we typically like, you know, donate sure. the pay dirt stuff for mm-hmm. whatever and mm-hmm. give away. Oh, okay. See, that makes sense. And that way you could keep progress of how you do each year, because you keep progress right. of, of your yearly thing. So that yeah. that makes sense. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very cool. What about the chat? next question. Next one. Roll with it. <laughs> Where do you sell it? Where do you sell, and what do you expect for it? What percentage do we expect for it? <laughs> Dennis? I'm getting you all thinking now. Oh, yeah. Well, you mean when I sell my gold? Yeah, when you sell your gold, like, for instance, where do you sell it, and how much do you expect for it? Do you, do you expect, you know, the going rate? What percentage, you know, under call or what do they call it? Under, I can't think of it. I just had a brain fart. Under spot spot price. Yeah, under spot or spot Mm -hmm. price or. Mm -hmm. I try to get spot price out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, then I I add in, I add in shipping with it. And then, um, you know, what, like PayPal charges. So, you know, like if I was to sell you a, a bag of dirt, of course, there's a lot of them that always, no matter who they buy from, they, they do a review on it. And that's why I really don't sell a lot because, mm-hmm. you know, as hard as it is to get it out of the ground, it's really hard to, you know, but I, I give them their money's worth, but, you know, then they start doing the ROI, you know, well, you get paid 55 or $60 and you got 1.2 grams of gold and the ROI is mm-hmm. like 85%, 90% or whatever. And, you know, it, I just try to factor in everything. You know, the gas it takes to get out there, what it costs okay. to ship, pay pal fee, you know. Right. Well, all three of you have sold gold. Uh-huh. The other question is, did you have to show an ID to sell it? No. Jaron said in Utah, they have to show ID. Did you guys have to? Uh-uh. No. No. I've, we've sold ours privately. I won't okay. say to you. Uh, okay. We... we since we're just selling our raw gold, not in like pay dirt or anything, right? Uh, we got a little bit less than spot price, but a very, very high and generous percentage. More so if you go to a lot of other places and try to sell. I mean, you're looking, you know, hoping to get eighty percent. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I was wondering what the going rate was, so it's basically eighty percent. Uh, some are because higher. You, you got to think too. A lot of the raw gold isn't obviously pure gold correct so it might even be anywhere from 18 to 22 basically exactly so you got and that's something we didn't think of or understand when we first started we're like oh wow we've got a gram of gold that's x amount and you know you learn to understand that okay there's a lot of other components of that piece of gold that you or that gold you have with you know copper like i think somebody said for razor to get an ounce it takes in 50 grams of gold. Oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah, right, the, and that has to do with the... Um, purity. Purity, yeah. yeah the yeah. purity of the gold, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. Interesting. And how much he loses because of the chemical or the stuff that's in it, you know, the right. minerals that are in it. Yeah, the, the crap stuff that's in it. Mm-hmm. 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 True. Now, interesting. That's cool. Yeah, no, it's like... Uh, I think a good place to sell it is some of some of your better pay dirt dealers. They like to buy it, and they yeah, they, there's they, actually a lot a lot of people on the site here. I think yeah. some of our 
Yeah, sponsors. Some of our sponsors they'll, they'll buy gold they too. Sure yeah, do. I know. Doc at uh, Gold Hog buys it. I think MDV buys it. Uh, yeah, and they'll Jim, give you uh, a Jimbo's great, Gold. I think yeah, does too. And they give you a very good price, and because uh, they're not like melting it down, they're just taking it and re- and using it to fill their orders and stuff. So that's that's right. the game. Yeah. So they're yeah, it's definitely worth checking into some of them if you're thinking about selling it. Yeah, you know, really is. Don't never take it to no darn place that says we buy gold. Don't ever take it to <laughs> yeah, that. Fun shop, oh, stay away like from them. Run for the hills. You're lucky to get fifty percent. Right, spot. they won't give you nothing. Yeah, no. <clears throat> it's like don't waste your time. Just deal with one of the reputable people that that you know or have heard other people talk highly about, and you know you won't mm-hmm. get taken. That's the good thing. You know, they will give you a very fair price for it. And that's yep. that's the way I did it. <clears throat> I thought that's the best way to go. Yeah. But Okay, that's pretty much well, it for the show pretty tonight. Pretty cool. That was a good topic, Rich. Well, I figured it was interesting. It was. Good show. Yeah. Very, very interesting. I like that. Always one. try to keep everybody involved and try to get people thinking. So. Oh, yeah. I like when you do that like that. Yeah, that's good. That way it gets some uh, feedback going and gets the chat room popping and yep. keeps the conversation flowing, you know, for sure. Good good job, Rich. Awesome, buddy. Loved it. Good job. Dennis got some Snapple Real Facts. Hey, I got it right tonight. <laughs> hey, yeah. We have... And, and what I might do is, is a couple of these, um, I'll ask a couple of questions, uh-huh. and then we can go to commercial break, okay. and then we'll see if anybody might know the answer. Shad, you can't, uh-uh. Can't You're Google not, it. Can't do it. <laughs> All right. This is Snapple Real Fact number 661. It said pigs were banished from Philadelphia city streets in what year? Okay. All right, will be the first question. Okay. And the second one is there is a volcano on Mars that uh, there is a volcano volcano on Mars the size of what state in the United States? Okay. So that's two. Is that all you're doing? Two? Okay. And then. I'm going to do three, but this one I'll just read the whole thing. Okay. Um, This is real fact number 291. Africa is divided into more countries than any other continent. Did you guys know that? Uh, I kind of might have had a feeling about that. But the the two questions before you go to break is, there's a volcano on Mars the size of... What? And it's a... What state? Okay. The United States. And the other one... His pigs were banished from Philadelphia city streets in what year? Okay, everybody think about that. No cheating, no Googling it. And we'll be right back, everybody. In 1858, gold was discovered in the rivers of New Caledonia. This discovery would spark a massive gold rush. Today, the search for gold is much easier, yet still challenging with Dirt Hog Pay Dirt. At Dirt Hog, we pride ourselves on our gold and guaranteed gold amounts. Just visit DirtHogPayDirt.com today and buy yourself a bag of the best pay dirt concentrates on the market. Order with confidence in Canada and North America. DirtHogPayDirt.com, the best gold concentrates on the market, period. Also, be sure to check out our Honest Bonus program. If you're interested in gold prospecting or treasure hunting as a career, hobby, passion, or just something you're interested in getting into, you have to visit goldprospectorspace.com. At goldprospectorspace.com, you'll find forums, chats, videos, blogs, sections on dry washing, metal detecting, high banking, and so much more. At goldprospectorspace.com. There's a store, classifieds, and at goldprospectorspace.com every Sunday night, 
night at 7.30 Eastern Time, tune in to Prospectors Radio, the talk show for gold prospectors and treasure hunters. Goldprospectorspace.com is a social network with thousands of members, and everything you need is at goldprospectorspace.com. Sign up today and get connected to others who share your love of gold and gold prospecting. Let the treasure hunt begin at goldprospectorspace.com. Gold prospectorspace.com You're listening to Prospectors Radio, bringing you 2 hours of information and commentary on the fascinating world of gold prospecting and treasure hunting. Right, Dennis, we're back. <laughs> all right, I'm going with the um, masses. They they're all saying Arizona, so I'm going with Arizona. Well, there there was then three. Of you guys guessed it right. Michael Myers was the first one that popped off Arizona. Jonathan Perrett and you and Kathleen. It is. There's Kathleen. Oh, and Kathleen. Yep, she got <laughs> Arizona. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I didn't see yours, Kathleen. She mm-hmm. got it first. There's a volcano on Mars the size of Arizona, and. Any guesses on the year? On the pigs? pigs? Pigs were banished from Philadelphia's city streets in what year? 2018. Uh, 1771. <laughs> it's in the 1700s, but that's not the correct answer. Uh-huh. 1776. No. <laughs> okay. 1710. 1710. Uh-oh. Wow, they banished pigs from the streets in 1710. They say why? No. They never do. <laughs> oh, I want to know more. <laughs> Denied, Kathleen. <laughs> no. 1710. Yep. Man, the learning continues. I feel myself getting yeah, smarter. I kind of made it into a fun thing. Yeah, yeah ask the question fun. before break and let people yeah. try to put answers in there. And Yeah, I just went with the masses on that. I seen Kathleen went to Arizona, Michael... <laughs> Jonathan, I'm like, I'm going to Arizona. These guys know something. Enrique, <laughs> everybody. But David Village, he got it. He said there's too much poop. Too much poop. <laughs> Where? Where in Philadelphia? You no, know, I don't know. He just typed it in there. <laughs> well, I, I would poop. guess that that was probably one of the reasons, maybe. <laughs> too much poop. Okay. I want to know. Thank you, David. Is that the truth, though? or I don't know, but it was a, fun, <laughs> it was a good answer. That's a great answer. It, it like, makes sense. Sounds like something we'd have said, so <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Man, I think Kathleen should get us a name. Oh, yeah? I think For who? Should. For what? So we <laughs> give away that gold pan vial from our friend over there at Make your own gold bars dot com. I can do that. I think you should. Then we can hear the Dennis theme song and all that good jazz. I know everybody's just waiting to hear that. I know Dennis is. <laughs> I forgot to play it as his intro. Jeopardy. His intro music. You know, I keep forgetting. I want to have that playing in the background. <laughs> if well, you, I have a name. You have a name. You are. Like lightning. So remember when Kathleen calls your name, one minute and 30 seconds to answer in the chat room that you are here. The gold prospector space chat room, mind you. Not the speaker one. You have to be over there. One minute and 30 seconds. Kathleen, let's hear that name. It is Daryl Stivers. Daryl Stivers. One minute, 30 seconds. Okay. As soon as, as, soon as I get things <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this makes you laugh, don't it, Dennis? <laughs> yeah. Carol Cypress, if you're out there. Yep, Daryl Stiver. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you giggling, Kathleen. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. 
TikTok. <laughs> 20 seconds. Wow. <laughs> Mercy, mercy, mercy. That was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Do it again, Do Sam. Again, Kathleen. <laughs> Get another one. All right. This is Merrill Mitchell. Merrill Mitchell. Merrill Mitchell. All right. Merle. Merle. Merle Mitchell. Merle. 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 Sorry. Merle Mitchell. All right. Merle Mitchell. One minute, 30 seconds. The answer is your hearing. Merle. Here. Mitchell. Back to this for more of Dennis Dayton. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh, wrong Dude, button. that is just, you ruined my night. You wonder why my blood pressure's up? <laughs> He's here. Wrong button. Dang, it was quick. Yeah, he, I guess he's tired of hearing the song. Congre <laughs> oh, he answered too quick, didn't he, Rich? Congratulations, yeah. oh. Merle. Rich is going to send you a side chat and get your mailing info, and we'll get that sent over to Steve, and he will get that sent out to you. That's makeyourgoldbars.com. Yep, makeyourowngoldbars.com. Very cool. Awesome. Congratulations. Check them out. Great sponsor. Yep. Thank you, Steve, and congratulations again to Merle. Now, don't forget, we're going to be announcing our quarterly nugget giveaway tonight for the Crony Club. So, if you're a crony, I hope you checked to make sure you still was an active crony and your membership didn't expire. Because that would suck. Because your name won't be called. That's for sure. So, you got to do that. What, Kathleen? Oh, no, no. Oh, I, I thought mean... you said so. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you were chiming in. No, that's all right. And then, like Shad said earlier, now that we have the patron quarterly nugget now going on thanks to tommy knockers pay dirt you can get on board on that ship if you'd like it's up to you just click that little patron for next tab. quarter this quarter yeah that for bled i'm blocked <laughs> <laughs> well the first one first quarter will be when kathleen a what's this april april uh, May. the next quarter is june 30th that'll be june 30th well or whatever sunday closest to it will be the first quarter for the patron nugget giveaway so very cool so you click that little become a patron box and do that it's up to you guys we don't force this stuff it's just things we come up with <laughs> right kathleen yeah it helps support the show or we could do things like this for you yep that's right and like i said we want Thank our awesome sponsors. Tonight's sponsor, the Crony Club giveaways, our good friends over there at Dirt Hog. They're the sponsors of our Crony Club quarterly nugget giveaway. So I want a big thank you to Dirt Hog for doing that for us. And this is the second nugget going out tonight. And then don't forget, we got the Crony Club giveaway coming up. Uh, I, I'd have to look at the date. That could be next week. And is it, next? it might be. And mm -hmm. then... We still got the monthly, and then? and then we got the GPS giveaway going on too. You and then, and then we, we got <laughs> to, to a soccer dredge contest, and then I think that's and like then? And then, and then, and then I think that's all of them. I think, damn. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna ask Kathleen when you guys, Kathleen, when you guys got that, um, that dirt from Roaring Camp. Did you get the like the fifteen pound bag or? It was a, I think so. Yeah. It was yeah. A yeah, that's some gnarly that's a stuff, bag. isn't it? Isn't it though? It hurt my wrists for <laughs> trying. That's the same stuff, man. When you go up there and and when you go to their camp, mm -hmm. that's the exact same stuff you're digging in that old tertiary channel, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Right on bedrock, man. And I mean, we had, 
change that water out, I think, four or five times. Oh, oh yeah. Cow. That's that orange juice looking stuff. So, you get, get, get any nice pic- Did you take any pictures? Are you going to post any pictures of it? Um, there is a picture of it on uh, our Wandering Buffaloes page, but uh, okay. I was going to do one on the site later on. Oh, good get job, good, Kathleen. Get yeah. any good pickers out of that? or A couple good pickers, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was a lot of... I mean, you could just see it. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's like I was looking at the like, dirt. I'm like, oh. I always like that. Don't you know when you get that and you can see it? It's like, ooh, I see. Oh, when you clean it. them rocks off too, Kathleen, you're gonna love them. They got some really what? cool rocks. Oh, there you there. go, Kathleen. Garnets, yeah, rocks. Oh this. yeah, that is awesome. Some Roaring yeah. Camp dirt for Kathleen. Well, it made for a nice, you know, getting home after work and. We spent a long time out there going mm-hmm. through it. Just oh, yeah. Over. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, you, can't, over. you can't go through that 15 pounds quick because it's uh, gnarly. I mean, that's the stuff I like. I mean, it's nasty, gnarly, you know. Yeah. Gnarly. That's, that's gnarly. Well, you were, you were raving about it. I was like, oh, I'll just try it out and see what, it, what it's all about. Yeah. It's, that's good stuff. You didn't right. find any wood in it, did you? No. Speaking <laughs> of wood, Dennis... Kathleen got a piece of wood. I saw that. That was cool. <laughs> did. I feel, actually, I listened. I, I felt better the day after or something, and I and I sent uh, Shad a message. I said, tell Kathleen I really enjoyed that segment oh, last cool. Wednesday. So you heard it. Well, thank you, Dennis. We're glad you listened. I really did. That was a good segment she had. Mm-hmm. And, and and I heard her talking about that piece. I was like, yeah. And then I kind of started cackling because I heard it, and it's not from Oak Island or something. <laughs> Uh, I just laughed and said, yeah, but she got a piece of wood. <laughs> she did. She got a piece of wood. And it's in a vial. So that's cool. For, <laughs> it's pretty cool for Kathleen, actually. It's like, dang, Dennis needs a piece of Oak Island wood in a vial. Oh, I do. I do. You know what? They should send you one. You're like the... I wish they would. Oak Island Commander is you. Yes. You know, there's a lot of fans out there. Mm-hmm. Oak Island fans. But I promise you, there is not a bigger fan than me. Man, that's a big statement. I think you're right, Island. Dennis. I think you're right. They should send you a piece of wood. It's wood. Yeah. A little chunk oh, yeah. of it. I well, mean, thank you, Steve France, for sending that uh, the Black Hills map and then the wood and then the um, gold mica. Heck, yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's good at that. He's the one that, that made that, you know, the the that I painted black, the sign. Oh, that you was know, Steve. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, Steve, and thank you for sending Kathleen that. That is very cool. Question for Kathleen. Uh oh. Kathleen, do you still do your dredge art? Uh yes. I do. Okay. <laughs> and my daughter my daughter picked out on the last uh at Go Brush days, Kathleen did really awesome. It's like the, the turquoise one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My daughter grabbed that and she has that hanging, I mean, in her room. Oh, she good. loves it. Good. Yeah, she loves it. Nice. That's awesome. That's relaxing. Mm-hmm. Kathleen makes some cool dredge art. Oh she, yeah, yeah, it's She's, awesome. She is a, our our artist of the bunch. Is Kathleen <laughs> mm-hmm. Dredge Art Queen? Dredge Art Queen, Kathleen. Hey, it kind of rhymes too. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I can't I can't laugh too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the wrong place, then, aren't you? Oh, geez. what was I what's I gonna say? Oh darn, I can't even remember. I was thinking about. Oh, I know what it was. Dennis, did you watch the? Civil War sunken gold show. Oh yeah, and they get and Dan and Dan are they uh, getting anywhere? Yes, they are. What, is, they what is the name of it? Is that the name of it? <laughs> the Curse of the Lost Civil Gold. Oh yeah, we watched that. Oh, you watched Curse. it, Kathleen. Okay. I'll have to write it down so I can really schedule it. Yeah, tell yeah. Me. They they got uh, uh, Marty and and you know Marty and uh, L- Laguna Lagina. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He jumped on board with them. They're yeah, oh, they're so, finding man, so they're finding did. stuff. Oh, already. Oh yeah, coins. Uh, yeah, right out of the they're, gate. Right out of the gate, man. It's nice. it's. So amazing. did the other show end then? Yeah, Oak Island yeah. ended. Treasure Island or whatever. Oak Island. Was. Oak Island. Oak, Oak Island. Yeah, but so I, they I, didn't well, find anything but wood. Right. Oh, well, they no, found some no, stuff. No, 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 they found no. some they stuff. They found a but, lot of stuff there besides Woodridge, but not the. Yeah, this year I was heard this year. before, but but not the treasure. No, they did. Right. This year was a good year for them, and they gave a sneak peek. Um, it was during one of the episodes of the Curse of the uh, 
Civil War Gold. Civil War Gold. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, that actually, it was it was Marty that actually, t- remember they, they talked about on Curse of Oak Island, like every so many feet they found a layer of, uh, like a wooden bridge or something, right. you know, a layer of wood. Right. Well, right. Marty actually had went, I don't know exactly where on the island, but he found the original dig site where they actually had it boarded up like in a circle and the ladder and, yeah. Really? And I was like, oh, wow, yeah. So he found that opening to get to? Yeah, it, it was under the, it was buried, but yeah, they actually, they started doing it and it started, you know, carefully digging out the sides and you could, oh yeah. And what was this made out of, Dennis? <laughs> Wood. Well, <laughs> probably wood, Chad. <laughs> wood. And then yep. some more wood. It was kind of like fencing, you know, the, like they built a wooden round fence around it uh-huh. and then had the ladder and, oh yeah, so oh, wow. it was like, yes, wow. hopefully there's another year of it. Some, well, I'm sure there'll be another year. I mean, oh, I hope so. Oh, you know there will be. They'll just keep drilling and... Hey, you know, it's wood. about the adventure it is, and right. the hunt. Like we just talked about, about the adventure the and the hunt. Expectations. So there is going to be another year of it, then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there has okay. to be. The expectations. Oh, yeah. It comes back to that thing Rich talked about. Oh, I, I'd mm. t- make a trip to Michigan and have a talk with Marty and, and say, you better have another show. It's I'd a, be, you know. It's 10 feet over. It's, you know, another foot down. It's, they're going through the same thing. So another another year, yep. another year, yep. another year, yep. another they're year. Just like it. another half hour, another half hour. Sure, they're going through it just like we do. Never give up. Nope. Yep. Nope. Never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> That's right. See. It's not like prospecting. How many times have we been in a place that looked good and you exactly. know you dredged all day and don't even get a speck? Yeah. You know. And you know, same thing. Sure. And you think? Well, well I don't do you that know anymore. you're in a good spot. In a, yeah. where you've gotten good gold and you just don't get crap one trip and then you go <laughs> yeah. back later and you actually get quite a bit of gold. You kill it. Yeah. Huh? yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is true. Pretty it all depends on the weather. I mean, it all depends if that big storm comes through, washes all that material off the bottom and puts it right on top for you. Yeah. And then the next time you, you, you go there, man, it's laying right on top and you think, yep, we're good to go. And the next time you go back, you go to that spot, nothing. It's all washed away. It's back, you know. It just all depends. Hmm. Now, now I know we was talking pre-show about uh, some other television shows, like uh, who watched Bering Sea Gold Friday night? Because we had Chris Kelly on last Uh-oh. week. Mm-hmm. So, who watched that? Kathleen, she had you guys watched it, right? Yes. Rich records it always. I have a recorded. I'd, I'm still catching up from the other Gold Rush shows. Mm-hmm. I had a whole bunch of them to watch, and I'm... I'm probably about five more shows left till I get caught up. So nice. And Dennis, did you watch it? No. Nah. So Shad, Kathleen, I'm going with you two. What? How? How did you like the season opener of Baron Sea Gold? You There's... know, I thought it was actually one of the better ones, and it looks like this season's actually going to be a lot, a lot more interesting, a lot more going on. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, they have their drama, but it was it was a well done episode, to be honest. Oh, so there's a lot of people at the at the place now at the bluff where everybody. Oh no, no, the Kellys. the Kellys are out by themselves, and there. they made a little camp. What? Yeah, oh, okay. Then, um, he put uh, wheels and built like a frame around the floats of his dredge, mm-hmm. so they could just wheel it. Off, you know, off out of the water, on the, up on the shore, and oh. then just push it right back in. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> I think with them staying out at the bluff, that they're going to do really well. Oh, yeah. okay. But I figured everybody would be at the bluff. But no, you're saying nobody's there but yeah, the Yeah, like the Palmerankis were there at the bluff, but they were staying in, a, in an old oh. cabin there before. Mm-hmm. I guess this season what's happening is, spoiler alert... <laughs> Um, the Pomeranke's, you know, obviously their deal to have an investor fell through for the Mega Dredge. Okay. So there, he's going to run two operations this year, or you know, from last last ep, last season, he ran runs the Christine Rose on the Tomcock claim, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and then he's going to take you know dredging down at the bluff. Of course, he's not there yet. And Kelly's already are. Okay. Okay. And then you got. I, the biggest thing, though, was it's 
a little bit smaller than the, what the Mega Dredge will be, but it is a massive barge with this uh, backhoe that can go down 30 feet. Okay. The Myrtle wow. Irene. Myrtle Irene. I mean, this thing, and to watch them, they use like these uh, airbags to move it on land off the truck <laughs> all the way into the water, which that took forever. Weird. And each bag was like, they said like $5,000 plus wow. a grand in shipping. Wow. And they kept popping them because oh, this thing is yeah. just, it's massive. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so, and to give you an idea, they talk about in the show, the Christine Rose can, you know, typically just 10 feet of water. It's boom in the, uh, for the backhoe can reach down underwater, just right. 10 feet. This thing can do 30. Oh, wow. Wow. So yeah. that means it's top heavy too, probably in a bad storm. Mm, oh, it looks because like Because you got all that weight sticking up, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, that whole... The size of this is just unreal, and I'm sure their Pomeranke's Mega Dredge thing will be, you know, just as gigantic. Right, too. Right. But yeah, to see, granted, if the waves got choppy out there, oh my god, yeah, I would not want to be out there in that. But Mm-mm. but it's if, it's pretty sweet. But if they can get down 30 feet, where Sean was only able to get down, like you said, 10, they're going to get that- to ground that nobody's touched. Oh yeah, they can just yeah, go yeah. over the whole area that Sean's worked and get all kinds of gold probably oh yeah yeah so this this opening episode you know it just showed them getting it Mm -hmm. into the water so you haven't seen it run yet okay it showed sean pomeranke's reaction to it okay (laughs) Uh, and then of course you know some of the others like emily you know she's off on one of the claims she got permission to be on with the new crew it looks like okay so you know, but it was still it was an interesting Good. episode. I think this season is going to be one of the better ones. Well, so Hank Hank wasn't around then. No, no. I think Hank or Zeke or the guy in the wheelchair. I can't remember. Uh, oh, George. George they, was. they briefly showed George. Yeah. Okay, um, George. George. Yeah. Yeah. He's, I think, coming on the second episode is what they made it look like. Okay. So, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be good. It, like, we've lost interest in the Gold Rush shows. Right. Mm-hmm. Me too. Um, but the Bering Sea has always kind of kept us, because it just shows them actually mining. You're not just watching dump trucks go around and yeah. all this broke <laughs> down, that broke down. Oh, I hate you. Oh, yeah. oh we're so happy now. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is this is more interesting to me, because you get to see them, you know, underwater, understand the, yeah. see the material, what they're going through. And... Yeah. Well, you see the dynamics of how, like, the city of Nome <laughs> works. Right. And what they say and stuff, and it's interesting. Yeah. It is. It's a lot more interesting. I agree with you guys. You're not watching trucks run around. You're watching them dredge and sucking gold off the bottom of the ocean, and it's like, sweet. That's what we like to see, you know? Yep. And normal clean outs, like. Uh, and the real issues that they have. They were yeah. out of air or a pump shut down or something like that. You know, that yeah. naturally happens. So. It's, it's more realistic to us, I guess. Cause it's, I really like the Whitewater one, too. Yeah, I was going to say, Rich. I to watch it. That one's getting pretty good, too. Well, that was my next question. I was going to say, Rich, you've been watching that one. What, do you, what are your thoughts on that? I mean... I mean, it was pretty amazing by some of the ideas that they come with that fast current, how to stop the water. Mm -hmm. You know, they basically have this jig that they mount to the side of the rocks, and it's a metal post that sticks out that has slots in it. And what they do is they take the boards, and they shove the boards down in one at a time, and they go all the way across to block the current from the area where they're dredging. Cool. Trying to keep some of the water pressure off of them while they're dredging underwater. Okay. Well, the last one I just watched, they had to make a move. They uh, they found a nice nugget in the one spot, but it was too close to where the board was. So they actually had to move the board upstream. So they had to take all the railing down, move it up, and then set it back up. Oh, the diversion wall? Yeah, there's okay. still too much water was coming through the board, so they had to put, shove plywood down in there to block the water from coming through the boards. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So I, I thought that was interesting, That's you cool. know. Yeah. Because the one, I think it was Dustin, got hit by a big rock the one time. Oh, okay. Yeah, that kind of stopped that. They had to put that wall, retaining wall up to mm-hmm. kind of drop, you know, to stop the rocks from oh, coming man. downstream. Yeah. So did you see where all that rain happened, Rich? And Yeah, but now there's an issue. Now there's an issue right now with way upstream 
they noticed the water was real, real muddy and murky. Uh-huh. So he got in a helicopter or plane or whatever, flew upstream and found out that there was a, it was either a mudslide or something came yeah. down across the creek and buried the whole creek. So what's happening now is the water is running underneath the mudslide. Mm-hmm. So eventually yeah. they're afraid what's going to happen is that mudslide's going to break loose and all that water and material is going to run downstream and wipe their whole area. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's built. It's like a kind of like a partial dam. It's the water's built way up, and like Rich said, it's been running underneath that. You know, like a small, like a tunnel. Right. And as water builds up back upstream, you know, it could end up breaking loose. And man, whew. it'll take that retaining wall down oh, and everything yeah, in it. I know it will. Definitely. Oh God! It'll yes. Take the bridge. It'll take the building. It'll take everything along it'll with take it. A, Right. Take where they kind of got temporary camp set up there, too. Wipe that out. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. So that one sounds pretty interesting, too. So they're worried about that right now. Okay. And that's as far as I got. Okay. I haven't watched the one recently. I'm still got a couple more to watch. But you... Yeah, would, I won't say you, tell you what it is then. But you would suggest that one's definitely worth watching. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one's interesting. That one's worth what, watching. What's good about it is they really got to work for it from where they're staying at to where mm-hmm. they prospect. Right, because they got to cross that cable right. every day. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Go across that cable, haul all their stuff across. If they have a backpack or whatever, haul all that across, and at the end of the day, they got to haul all back across again. Wow, that's every that, day. That's a chore in itself, ain't it? Oh yeah, man, oh. interesting. So dangling from that cable. Oh my gosh. So that gets the rich coolie thumbs up, is what it gets. Yeah, and, and bearing sea gold gets the thumbs up from. Shad and Kathleen. So very cool. Make sure you guys watch them shows. You know, I don't have them channels no more. So I just got to catch them later on the. You got a fire stick. Yeah, that's why I said I have to that's catch them. That's what we do. I, I catch mean, them on the fire, fire stick. stick cable. Oh, yeah. I definitely got to catch them on the fire stick. But, you know, it's like like Shad said, you know, I don't know. It's, I was watching Gold Rush for so long and it just got to be like, bleh. It just got over it. And Yeah. I, don't know. I think it's crazy that Parker's going to the jungle. I know. It's like, see, that's where I, it's really like, come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we went down that tried road. That before. Yeah, we went, went down that road with Todd, and it's like. And it's not too far from where Hoffman was at. Right. It's like, really? Come up with something a little more different. Send them somewhere other than the jungle. You know? Go to a creek or something. You something. Know? Yeah. Throw up a high bank. I'll tell you. Mm hmm. I don't know. I, it's what the producers, I guess, come up with. They don't have a producer as good as ours. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> they need their own shed. Is what they need. <laughs> then they could come up with something a little better, I think. Right? I don't share. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm not for sale. <laughs> you can't have our shed. Nope. Nobody gets right, it. Uh, Sapper shirt or Sapper shed? Sherpa shed. Sherpa shed, yeah. Sherpa shed, a man who wears many hats. <laughs> so I don't know, but uh, yeah, catch up on them shows. I have to catch up with the Bering Sea definitely. I watch that, and uh, then the Civil War, gold, and then and then and then white water, and then, <laughs> and then the white water, and then that's all of them. I think that I'm caught up. So we shall see. So on that note, what we're going to do now, we're going to announce the Crony Club lucky winner of the quarterly nugget giveaway. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap it up because it's Sunday, it's Easter, and we're going to take it easy for a little bit. So if you're ready, I'm ready. And cronies don't have to be here. We just announce their name and then I'll send them a message and stuff. So what am I forgetting anything else before then? We announced that nope. Kathleen's going to be on Ed and Jess' show, Kathleen and Carrie, this Tuesday at 8 o'clock on uh, Tuesday Night Hangouts over on their YouTube channel. We mentioned a new patron quarterly nugget giveaway. Uh, da, 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 gave away the pan and vial. What am I forgetting? Something. Oh. I feel like I'm forgetting something tonight. Yeah, what was it? Um... Remind everyone about the Crony Club stickers. We still have a bunch. Okay. Yep. Good job, Kathleen. I somebody joined the other day, and and I told him I I sent them your email and said just send Kath, send Kathleen a message and she'll get you your sticker out. So hopefully they did that. 
<laughs> Somebody reached out to I, me, Roy. Yes, I believe it was Roy. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Oh, very good then. So, yep. Yep. If you got it sitting right here, just addressed it. <laughs> see that? Kathleen's on the ball. And don't forget, she sends along that fancy little thank you note, too, <laughs> which is very, <laughs> very special. So, very cool. So, I think that covers everything. So, we'll just go ahead and announce the winner and we'll call it a night. So, this month's lucky crony. Of the quarterly nugget giveaway from our friends over at Dirt Hog is, we need a drum roll, please. We do. <laughs> Timothy Caldwell. Timothy Caldwell, congratulations! I'll be reaching out to you to get your mailing info. And we will be sending you your nugget. Oh, he's cool. in the chat room. He's actually in the chat. Oh, very cool. Uh, well, got Timothy, a nugget. Congratulations, my friend. If you're listening. You're in the, well, you're in the chat room, so if you're listening, just go ahead and send me your address to my message box, and I'll get that. Oh, and Michael Myers is donating a nugget to the uh, Patreon. What? Uh, no, April Oh, you d- uh. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's six times. <laughs> he's just all giddy. He's a funny man. Oh, he's just he's just enjoying this, Kathleen, way too much. <laughs> you can't do this Wednesday, Dennis. Only tonight. I know. <laughs> well, we he wanna... waits all year long. I know, right? <laughs> Why do you think I got married on April Fool's Day? It's the greatest. Well, I bet proved, that was funny. You've proved it tonight. You know, you definitely have, my friend. I do. No, I don't. I do. No, I don't. <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Hold on one second. And... I was say you probably got the crap knocked out of you if you said do it. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, we want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. We want to thank our awesome sponsors and our awesome listeners. So... Have a great week. We'll see you all Wednesday night at 9 o'clock for West Coast Wednesdays with Kathleen's Dredging Up the News. We will be here. We hope you are, too. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Be sure to tune in next Sunday at 730 for another great show. For updates and more info, please go to www.prospectorsradio.com.